Yeah, yeah, all the fresh eyes. Welcome to the 2010 Palmolive World Cup. After being to Asia and Africa, we come back to Europe for the fifth stop of the World Tour here in Germany, St. Peter already. Coaches clash, two worlds intertwined. Can't predict, see the signs. Got me wishing the whole world was colorblind. Girl, keep an open mind, I'm telling you that. This is real typical Germany. One minute you got sun, you walk in your board short, and the other minute it's rain, and you're fully lit on your seven. And then the next two minutes, the wind just drops again, and everybody's taking the big kites, riding a 14. And yeah, this is basically Germany. <laughs> Say tomato, some say tomato, some say mix, others say mulatto, others won't say half breed. No respect for color or creed. It's we ain't about interracial, it's about being faithful, being grateful for sacrifice. Get down, let's get back to life. Listen to me, yeah. We can do it, we can do it, yeah. Cause it can't figure it out But as long as we together We gon' work it out I said uh, So today is the um, first day of the PK race in St. Peter Harding, Germany There is uh, many many riders registered for, for the event In the race and in freestyle too In freestyle is around 50 to 60 riders I don't know exactly the name So we are 12 riders preceded Like the top 12 riders of the PK race ranking and then all the other guys need to battle against each other to get the chance to enter the main event. So yeah, today start this trials in freestyle. We're about to start racing. Yesterday we did one race, it was really light winds and very strong tide. So hopefully today we're going to get more races in. The tide is low and uh, the wind is light but hopefully not so much current. So the difficulty in this place is the current change with the high tide and low tide. Uh, the problem is all the time it's the choppy, you have a pipeline for the, for the current. So sometimes you take a current and you don't understand why you go more upwind like everybody. So it's very difficult to understand how the current works, 
And uh, one is uh, onshore, it's very choppy and it's very difficult to control the board for downwind. So it's very fun and very exciting uh, all the time. So we go from through the line, we make a series of tacks upwind to the upwind buoy. We go around the upwind buoy to normally a jibe buoy over here, around the jibe buoy and back to the bottom mark around that and we go all around again before we finish across the line next to the beach which is here. This is one of the courses that we use. All the, the top riders have their own style, um, like Alberto is doing a lot of switch tricks, all of the switch tricks are like similar as normal tricks. With Alex Pastor, like pushing the wake style a little bit with nice style grabs. Uh, and DJ's, um, he's riding uh, really technical, doing a lot of stuff to blind and this kind of thing. Uh, Kevin Langer, he's uh, trying to do push his one handed things and ride quite a lot of power as well. Uh, yeah, me, I just try to ride with a lot of power and hopefully that's enough. But uh, yeah, no, it's a lot of different styles and you know, it's just uh, how you perform it and uh, what the judges like the most. This year the competition is very exciting for the girls. We have four very powerful girls. One of them is Ashley Wynn. She's a newcomer. She started last year and she's already top four. She's been riding re really good. We have Carolina Winkowska, a very powerful rider, always top three. We have Gisela Pulido. She's been here forever, always winning a lot, lots of uh, competitions. And myself, I was world champion last year. So I think we have a pretty good fight for the world title this year. The difference between style of the girls is very different and uh, like Gisela, she's very constant in her tricks, she does a lot of tricks but her kite is pretty high and uh, of course she's working to take it low but mostly the kite is up. Bruna is also, I mean, she's power, she's totally power, she's the most power girl in the tour with me. So <laughs> we are together, like me and Bruna, we're super power. And then the Gisela and Asha, they have kite a little bit up, but you never know, I can go out and it's 60 knots, so I take my kite up and I'm no power. So that's the thing, you never know what's gonna happen in the competition. And that's why we like to compete and we'll see who's the best. But there are still so many competitions, it's actually really hard to say who's gonna be. Who's gonna be? I don't know.
Disappointing. Now I'm like in, I don't know, ninth place or something in the double, so it's gonna be a long way to get back, and I don't know, just a little bit disappointing and down, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll do better in the doubles, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, the singles are finishing off. Uh, personally, I made it to the final four, so I'm against Ariel now. It's me, Ariel, Alex, and Kevin left in the the men's single elimination and the, the girls it's Bruna, Carolina and not sure of the other two but they're final four in both so it's getting down to the wire now and it should be pretty exciting. The wind's a little bit light but maybe just enough now so let's hope it picks up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I spend a night nice summer day like any other day yeah. Ice under rage, chicks might come in place uh, Fights and someone say that's why I can't see But I never run away, they forever come and stay yeah. It's just the right time to cruise in my whip Five miles per hour, abusing a strip uh, Checking out shorty, moving the hips Sliding my ride, have a use in a stick uh -huh. I might as well roll to the beach that's right. Lay back, low in the seat that's right. Hot boy, y'all all on the beat Giving you what y'all want to see Got a chick in a drink, eat it on We get relaxing, bumping on We hit uh, now, spot behind the beat It's the perfect day, I take on the knee It's my day, yeah, yeah, we chillin' Just my day, yeah, yeah, we chillin' Up on stage, yeah, yeah, we chillin' Still young, we chillin' No matter the feeling, I'm still chillin' No drama the day that's a given Every day's a new day, it's how we live in a time you say Yeah, yeah, we chillin' Had to be the first to curse, arriving home from work Then try to smirk as if you drive too long to drive and you berserk And that's why turbos never stress, cause in the end it wouldn't pay off To waste all this time I could be spending all my days off Like always, I'm super tired of our heat Had a heat with Bruna It was pretty light, with my 11, but I cannot breathe, sorry Yeah, conditions are perfect, flat But the wind So-so, I'm gonna check the result It's 3-2 decision, okay? Oh. So I'll say on the execution was really good for both. The ones that give it to you, they will give it to you for because you were by checking less than Bruno. Okay, we have eight judging criteria that the judges are looking at, but uh, we are most uh, focused on the quality over the quantity, which means the quality of the execution which is the, the power, the risk, uh, the commitment to the execution of the trick or the speed uh, coming in or out on the low mobs. And this is really basically what the judges are, are looking at. Uh, it was good, huh? I won and I advanced to the final, so I'm up in a couple heats and hopefully I'll keep doing good like this and uh, win the event. And see. That's one hell of a show is what they tell us. Like me, you like me, and nice way you can go hide me. I might be one hell of a guy. That's one hell of a run. Chicks drop their drawers at the drop of a dime. High fives never played out. Holla at your boy on the way out. As long as there's one bar open, I'ma stay out all night long. And when you're chilling in your car, you best to play this song. And there ain't no wrong. So put your hands out the sunroof. Point third sky and I'm out like poop. poop. It's Friday. Yeah, yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, yeah, She's winning every competition this year again, but it's not the end of the competition, so we still have chance. Yeah, but Giselle is a very constant rider. She rides in every kind of condition. When it's super strong, when it's light, she's very constant. Today the heat was very close. But Giza had a lot of power, while Bruna was not so much like on the top. So, I don't know, we have to beat Gisela at least once this year, because it's going to be horrible if she wins 11 stops. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I, I won the four or five events, I think, Thailand, France, Cavarte, Morocco and, and here in the single. So yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs>
Yeah, this year the things uh, have changed and we're like top four and uh, pretty much on the same level. So it's pretty much everything can happen. We're like on one competition, this one is leading, then on the other is the other one. I think the, the level is just too close and it's not like it used to be before with Aaron and maybe Kevin leading. Now it's just four guys on top and nobody knows what's going to happen. Yeah, so if one has a really good hit, for sure he's going to win. Sometimes it's your lucky day, sometimes it's not, and I guess today was not my lucky day. You know, it just happens, sometimes you just go in the water and it goes really well, and sometimes not, you know, you can't, you know, that's that's what competition is, and kind of a bummer, but you know, we still have the doubles, and hopefully I'll be a little luckier in the doubles. Let's uh, go to the stage now and see who won. And the winner is Alex Pastor. Congratulations, second and the from Australia. Everything looks a bit more scary because all I can do is just lose one place or just keep it. So there's no improvement. But it's still good, you know. I have two chances, and yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna go for it with full energy, and I think I have good expectations for winning the competition. Last winter I, uh, I started with the episode recorded, uh, with 10 episodes uh, all over the world. We had Brazil, we had Spain, we had um, South Africa. Uh, yeah, it was a, was a great success. People loved it. People saw more how I'm living, what I'm doing. And uh, it's not all about kiteboarding, it's also about having fun out there. And, you know, you have to train seriously, but in the meantime you need to, you know, have fun as well. And just sometimes just a second, don't think about kiteboarding because kiteboarding is not the only thing in life. There's, there's more out there, and and you have to enjoy that as well. Sometimes I'm, uh, I'm pushing it a little bit too much, which resulted in um, like uh, having three operations on my knee, breaking the cross ligament two times. But uh, yeah, if you want to get to that point, you have to sometimes you have to push it, and if you push it too hard, you know you have to pay for it. And well, for me, I'm I'm willing to pay that if if I finally make it to the end. So yeah, every session I try to push it harder and go higher and faster and harder. So if I have to do it for get to the number one place, then I will do it. Yeah, being on tour is um, yeah, for me it's my, it's my living, it's, it's what I do and it's also uh, like a big family, you know, you see other riders every, every stop again. Also have my girlfriend on the tour, which is, which is great as well. You see each other a lot during the whole year. Um, yeah, just being with all the guys, we're having a lot of fun, but I mean, as soon as that green flag goes up, it's friend or not, you're going down. Yeah, 
it's 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 hard to lose, especially you know you're training a lot for it, you're you're really pushing it, and then you know sometimes you have a bad heat or the wind is just not good, and like in this competition here, and the first heat I had was was super good the other day, and second heat the wind just dropped a little bit. My biggest kite and didn't really have the wind I wanted to have, and then you're up against a good rider and. He rides a lot better in low winds than you know than you lose, and it's quite hard. It was uh, it's quite disappointing after, but uh, I mean that's competition. You have to pull yourself self over, get back together, and you know get all your energy again for the doubles, and that's what I'm doing now. Just go for it. Uh, we are now going to, to really wide boards, they're like 59, 60 centimeters wide. We've got huge fins underneath because it's the goal to go upwind as best as possible. If you look at the race board these days, you almost see a little windsurf board and uh, the freestyle boards are back like the normal small ones, easy to carry, easy to travel. But uh, it's quite amazing in how light wind we can go these days with those big boards and big fins. It's mainly the fins coming down to the fins these days. So as you can see here, um, some people are running these tri-fin setups. So Christine has a three-fin setup here. Um, most of the other competitors all have four fins, um, but it seems like three fins are coming into play now quite a bit. Um, so yeah, basically big boards, big fins, and it's all about getting upwind to the upwind mark and, and obviously making it around the course as fast as you can. Kites are getting lighter, and the kites are getting getting more more specialised for racing. Um, and then obviously it's all about fitness as well and time on the water, and that's still the most important. Uh, we did nine races, and I won uh, six races in uh, different conditions: light onshore, side offshore, strong wind. And uh, so now I take the lead. Uh, Julian Kerner takes the second place, and uh, Rolf takes the third place. So it was a good fighting on the water all the time, and it was a very funny day. the double elimination and I was second but Carolina Winkowska came to challenge me. I had a horrible heat. I was very unlucky. I was in my nine meter that went picked up and I was just flying around. So I lost and I went down to third place and that's it pretty much. <laughs> It was super bad for me. I started uh, the heat pretty good doing some tricks, but then I broke my line and I was riding on seven. And then I changed to the nine and I was super overpowered. And then I couldn't do any more tricks. But uh, well, at the end I do like a slim champ, slim on three, blind judge, and promo. And I got the first place. I'm super stoked. That was good. That was good. Oh, so tired. I dried out the beach a few times, but hope I got that one. That'd just be insane. It was so good.
I don't know, man. It was a really close hit. I can tell. <laughs> I had uh, some really good tricks. Uh, I've seen some really good from Andy. So just up to the, to the judges. <laughs> Let's see what they think. Alex, Alex Pastor! Pastor!